Yes, lads, Joe Bligan here, and today I want us to do some first impressions gameplay with Diego Maradona Icon Card. I've literally just got him up. Should have probably recorded me unlocking him first, but I thought at first I'm going to do like a cut down clips. And I thought, let's do some first impressions of him because Deli Ali is our man who plan at the moment who we always go towards because we've got Deli up to 100, and then we're getting the plus 10 pluses on him, and he's absolutely phenomenal. Better than Ronaldinho ended up going with him. Can Maradona match against him? Obviously, he is a little bit behind at the moment. I haven't upgraded him or trained him at all. So, he's his 91 card with plus 10 attribute boost. And his stats look pretty nice indeed. He's certainly fast. 76 strength isn't too bad, actually. 98 ball control, 108 dribbling, 107 finishing, 90 shot power, 95 long shots. Um, what's he got down there? 90 crossing, 89 long passing, 97 free kicks, 94 short passing. Got some pretty nice stats indeed. Now, the team we used to get Diego Maradona, I'll just make up quickly again now and cut back to. So, I put Maradona together using players I already had in my club, with the main guys being the team hero, Dybala, from the weekend tournament bonus reward, and the 91 Messi. We then used this left back, who was like basically it was all players I already found in my club. So, our main guys came from this Perosi and Tag. Taglia Fisio, who we we plus 10 him because he was a 77, and we plus 8 Peruzzi, who was a 73. And then at CDM, we had where's he gone? We find Herbez, who we already had in the club as well, and that has got us to the 99. Um, so it helped that we was obviously already above at 102. And we had Messi and Diabala giving in big sticks, but we needed to plus 18 using the, one of the other three. So plus 10, this low one from a 77 up to an 87, and plus 8 Peruzzi. And um, so that cost us what about three, about four, five hundred K. So it wasn't too bad in the end when I realised. Because at first, when Maradona came out, I was at about, I think my rating was 99, 98. Um, and then obviously Freeze came and Freeze filled everyone with coins and it filled everyone with more skill boost. Look at most of our skill boosts are up to plus 10, a couple at plus 11 now. Freeze was absolutely brilliant for for skill boost and that's when I realised maybe, just maybe we can actually get ourselves Maradona. And it was the case there, Messi, Diabola held loads and then it didn't take much to upgrade the other ones. So Maradona's rocking here with the speed skill boost, sprint speed, dribbling, finishing position and reactions, making him better. And he's got some pretty nice stats. 406k to take him up to 92. Um, we haven't touched him at all yet. But um, we're going to go jump into some league games and we'll jump into first attack as well. What my plan to do is in this. Okay, we've had a quick. Great. So we had a crash in the first game. No good there. Typical. They still need to sort these iPhone issues out. It's ridiculous. So yeah, as I was about to say before, this game interrupted us by crashing. I'm going to try and cut this up to only use Maradona. So basically, if we're using Maradona, we will cut to him. If we're already talking about something, then um, we won't. But if it's in between shots, then we will cut away. Maradona straight away. There we go. Maradona straight off the bat. Force the ball out to him. And there he is in that green Santa kit. Only, only, and you can get this kit for an absolutely bargain stunning marvellous price of only 4,000 thief points, which roughly works out about £40 in English money. Absolute bargain, right? It does look nice, to be fair. But, yeah, that's another thing we was talking about. And I was talking about some of my league mates. This year, obviously last year, the main emphasis on items and kits and everything was that, essentially, you got logos. You got, here's my runner. You got logos. You got kits pretty much easily. Anyone could get all of them. And then players ended up being harder. This year, they seem to have gone for that. Let's make cosmetic items cost cost real money. And then we will make players and items easy to get. Now, if that's the approach you're taking, then I think we can all agree that that's a great approach. That the cosmetic, apart from like some ridiculous things like Davis and Sanchez and just a couple of high ones. If logos and kits are like the cosmetic and like a lot of games like Overwatch, games like that, you pay for loot crates and stuff purely for cosmetic items only. If you are making it to cosmetic items cost, then it's an approach that pretty much all other games have taken. And um, if it means then that players and items are easier to get, then 
easy to get than they were last year because last year some of them were just damn right impossible like could you imagine being able to get Messi or Bale or both of them last year for free I don't think that would have been the case but hey it's happened so that's great Maradona's not getting the ball much is it we have absolutely wasted this turn it looks like a comfortable eye level, uh, league versus league so that's all right that's kind of why I went into the league versus league because I knew this would be all right to to record in rather than just go full out of concentration mode like the last one when we beat rank 16 in the world but um, Messi's going to keep getting involved anyway. It's like, Messi, this isn't your episode, mate. This is not your episode. You were the other day. Messi featured the other day. And, um, yeah. right, jumping into this one now. So we've had a DC, an absolutely embarrassing turn because I spent two more time just trying to get the ball to Maradona. Let's let the ball to Maradona happen naturally, apart from here, where um, he started off brilliantly last time. So we're going to go for the rainbow with him. And we're going to rainbow again into that space. And he's going to try and run on a post. And we're going to flick it. And there we go. Maradona, 1-0 off the bat. Uh, oh, he doesn't have a game face, does he? He literally looks like a tanned version of Owen with a bit more hair. Great. Bale running down here because we're going to pass it out. Um, we're just going to have to wait for Maradona to get involved. But we'll be using versus attack games as well. I'm on a right post-hitting magnet today. Yeah. Right, here we go. Finally with Maradona again. He's going to rainbow over. Let's try and curl it round, and it gets blocked. It's going to fall to Messi, and Messi's going to bang it home. Mistake me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure isn't Messi going out with Maradona's daughter or something like that. I'm sure that's what it is. Um, I know Messi's kid isn't, or is it, that um, Maradona is Messi's child, so... Yeah, Messi's child's godfather or something like that. Um, so that kid should be good in a few years' time. Let's flick this over. And it's Messi on the header. Why is Messi being given the header? Oh, that's my run. Let's give it back to him. Flick it over. We're going to force here. And David Luiz was reliantly pursuant on that. Right, we're going to jump into some attack mode games now because literally Madonna, Madonna didn't, Maradona didn't get any more chances after that. So we'll see how these attack mode games go and keep it moving. So up against A team tie, 104. So he is rocking the higher rating. But um, it's oh, 1.156. So cool, we shouldn't lose too many fans. If we do lose this and we can pull off the win, it's going to help us out here. But we are still waiting for iPhone 10 gameplay to be fixed. So... Just making do with it in the meantime how we can. Roulette, rainbow, come on Mar Maradona. There we go, lovely finish. He's getting some nice chances to be honest Once he, when he gets the opportunity. Uh, Maradona here straight away again. Go and dribble around, can we get in the ball? Oh, couldn't quite snip it around. Got it through the man, got it through the players. But couldn't quite get the finish in motion. Messi, gone. There we go, Messi, good boy Messi. Griezmann to hull it and that's an awful pass and why is it oh stop playing Griezmann going to cut it back to Maradona he's going to flip it over flip it again shoot Maradona there we go he's impressing me to be honest he's impressing me um, he's going to play this pass out to Messi and Messi's going to take all the time in the world which he's going to bat it away no good there no good in Bethlehem Messi again, cross shot, there we go, absolutely beautiful, beautiful finish. Messi's going to run down, it doesn't look like Maradona's anywhere in sight. Going to put it back to Griezmann, and he's going to lift it into the upper left. But 18 tie has been absolutely clinical, and I don't think he's missed a chance yet, to be honest. Um, and when that happens, there's not much you can do about it. The pie is on free kick, so we can't see that Maradona free kick. Right, let's rock out again, see if we can get some more opportunities for Maradona. And we're going up against Norbert. Norbert. Okay, okay, he's still in Legendary 1. Good matchmaking there, yeah, good matchmaking. But I guess it's just the fact that there's not, there's, I don't know, it's getting, there's getting more FIFA Champion people playing, but we just need more in more FIFA Champions in there to stop that happening for people. Right, let's go. Bale, Commit to me, Poilol. Yeah, see you later. Bale running through, and that should be a finish. There we go. The outside power strike, pump blaster. Griezmann with the tap shot. There we go. Come on, give us some Maradona. Give us some Maradona. 
Um, no, that's all it. Work. Okay, let's just shoot. Shoot. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Lovely. Bail. Messi. Messi over. This isn't Maradona. But he's. Yeah. Depay finishes it. Oh, yeah. There's Maradona. Let's give him back. Running from deep. So we've been given a basic chance with Maradona here. Let's see what he can do. Is he going to run himself into danger there? Yeah, he ran himself straight into the path of Messi. That's what happens when you get given a basic chance. You have to sort of, you have to have a plan, and that plan was just a rainbow everywhere, and it wasn't the right plan. Right, time to rock into one of them. Rikishi, Rikish, Rikish X. I thought it was up against Rikishi. The wait, isn't Rikishi dead? I think Rikishi's dead actually. Can't remember. Okay, here we go. Griezmann to Messi, Messi over Thiago Silva and top left. And this has been another game where Maradona just hasn't been given the ball. I swear, when I'm using Ali, Ali's given the chances a lot more. What's going on? Oh, maybe, maybe it didn't happen. Maybe I got in quick enough. Oh, maybe. Unless it's put me into a different game altogether. And then I've got an automatic loss. But Maradona, why do you keep giving Maradona some basic chances? I want to test him out properly. I want to test his shot off. And if I've got to... Well, I suppose if he can work his way past the million man in the way, then that is a good thing. But I just want to... This is meant to be first impressions. And the first impressions have been good. I just... You're just not giving me him enough. I feel like we're going to have to play a million games here to get some proper clips. Right, let's see how many game, how many chances we get out of Maradona in this game. What are we thinking? One? Two? One basic, maybe? But we're up against the 106. We have 108k, 1.108k. So this should be a tough game anyway. But we're going to go for that. Pass back to Maradona and see what he can do from an open field standpoint play. So he's got some nice pace about him. Masaria, we know he's fast as well if you've seen him. A lot of people got him in starters and that's not been a great start. Sergio Ramos easily jump in to say, no, you ain't trying that with us. And then we get steamrolled. But we're going to, uh, there's two. Oh, wait. Oh, beautiful free kick. So the answer was we didn't get a single chance with Maradona apart from that one that we tried to create for ourselves at the start. Right, let's flip up the formation. We'll put him on the right side because that's generally where they appear more and see how it works here. Right, let's go. Let's, um... All right, Maradona's going to be in a different position, but there we've got the ball to him. He's done a little late rainbow. He's going to do a roulette, and that's a foul. Uh, Depay's still on these, though. All right, here we go. Maradona's on the ball. He's going to turn past one, rainbow past another. But he's there, he's going to try and get the shot away, but it is blocked, falls out to some man. Who's so yeah, once again, he's just not getting the ball. I just don't know what we need to do to actually get Maradona involved. Is he just going to continue to be a, a mystery man forever, or what? Because we're, we're forcing these chances from kickoff, but then that's it. But um, And the few chances we're getting with him, he does seem good indeed. He's certainly been good from kickoff. But that's literally the only place we've managed to force him into the game. Thought, why is Ali in his position now? Obviously, I'm happy, thankful for the game because Ali's absolutely class, and he's showing his class there. But um, and Ali breakthrough, and this is why I like to do cut up videos, cut up reviews. But because of how these mobile works with chances and creation, I do like to do live as well because I want you guys to see how often these players get involved. And we've played, we're starting to play enough games now to think this isn't a coincidence. Now, if this was a coincidence, I could fair enough. There's a few games where he doesn't do much, then he does. But this is literally, we've played a bunch of games now, and Maradona's in different formations, and Maradona's literally not being given the ball at all. It's just, he's, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Is that a part of his trait? Is it that some players, does anyone think there's certain players? that uh, just don't get given the ball as much as others? Or is it just coincidence? Have I got a tin foil hat on right now and I'm trying to start conspiracy theories? I don't know. Do you feel like there's certain players just... Obviously, there's certain positions that you don't think you'll get the ball as much, which is understandable. Obviously, it's normally your attacking players that get the ball more. But um, he's playing a pretty prominent attacking role. So you'd expect him to be given the ball and we've passed it away. It was a nice pass. We're going to try and play him back in, though. We're going to go for a tight angle here. That's a brilliant finish. He has been... When he's been getting the ball, he's been doing... He's, I think he's missed two or three tight ones. But he's he's been dribbling well. 
He's been shooting pretty well. He's seeming good. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go back to Ali for sure because Ali's, Ali's brilliant. All right, let's have one more go, see if we can get anything out of Maradona in this game, and then we'll call it wraps. We've played enough games now, and I'm starting to think he's just got some hidden trait to be invisible. Maybe he's just, yeah, we've made the joke earlier, but we'll make it again. Maybe he's just waiting there to pop up with a hand of God at the near post at some stage, and he's been tackled by Ronaldinho, of all people. Right, here we go, running from deep with Maradona. It's finally gave him a natural chance. Let's not mess this up. Over. Yeah, it's there. It's his height. His height could be a problem. But um, I'm happy to pick him up. And obviously it's going to be hard to rank. Although we're not really looking at ranking up plays yet. Icons are going to be particularly hard to rank up. So you need, you need another of that icon to rank him up one. Which are harder to get than your normal players that you can just buy the base version of on the market. So that about sums Maradon up. Enjoyed using him on first impressions. Have it well, when I say that, I've enjoyed it when I've got the chance to use him. Obviously, if you guys play campaigns a lot more, then you'll be able to have free will of passing it around and use them more. I don't play campaigns. I don't like campaigns. I don't like full games. I've got a console for that. And I don't feel the game's engine's big, good enough to play proper games, but each to their own. Maradona, I feel his height will let him down in the long run. But that's like goes with small players. Maybe you prefer small players to go silky with. But if you're playing for that sharp, direct, rainbow style, it feels like that could come undone at times just because of being smaller. And if it's a conspiracy, maybe it's a conspiracy, maybe it's not. For me, he's invisible. He's not. He wasn't getting enough chances. And I don't know if that's Maradona or if that's just the game screwing me over while I'm recording. But we played enough games then to think it could well be some trait inside Maradona that means he doesn't get the ball much. Let me know if you've used Maradona and how you feel with him in the comment section below. I'm sticking with Ali for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at JLBHD and I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs>